And I started noticing also in your, unless you're dealing with a real low end builder that's trying to get a, a house down in the low 100s, then the first sign you have is when you pull up to the front and I tell my clients this, I'm gonna give you some hints of things to look for that's gonna give you an idea. When a house is already completed, what you can look for that's gonna give you an idea of what the quality is. If you pull up and he's got no covering on the front porch, you know nothing looks worse than that raw concrete after a year or two when it starts to crack and yellow. <coughs> if he doesn't use leftover brick or pavers or something on that front porch, he's cut corners. Second thing is, you have to have 10 foot ceiling minimum to use eight foot door package throughout the house. That's not true for the front door. So that eight foot front door costs that builder maybe an extra hundred bucks. So if he doesn't put an eight foot front door on the front and cover that porch with leftover brick, he's cut corners that you can count on it are gonna be evident behind the walls and under the floors. The next thing I tell my clients, all right, once we've gotten past that, when we get in this house and we start walking it, I want you to count the number of return air vents. There should be a return air vent in every room. And if there's not, that builder cut corners. Now it costs a builder about $3,000 extra and a 3,000 square foot house to put return air vents in every room. But they should be there. Not only does it make your air circulate better, but it gets, takes moisture out of the air. And you can tell in some of the older houses, if you've ever gone in and there'll be a little dark line in front of the bedroom doors or going up the hall um, and going up the stairway, because there aren't adequate return air vents in that house. The next thing is, in today's market, I tell my clients, okay, now we're gonna pull the attic down, attic door down, and we're gonna crawl up there, <coughs> and we're gonna look up there to see if there's radiant barrier decking. And that looks like tin foil on the ceiling. If you don't have those things, you know that builder has built an inferior house. Heaven only knows what else they 